So it was my first area. It's called Stilicum. And me and my companion, we were uh, just walking around, um, visiting some people on the street. And I just had this feeling that we should go see this lady named Tina. And we ran into Tina a few weeks prior to this. And she was... <laughs> She was very different. She's um, She was in a house with her boyfriend who was like 30 years younger than her. And <laughs> she was very skinny and frail. And she wanted to learn more about the Holy Ghost. And so I just had this feeling that we should go there. And when we got there, we walked down. She lived in this little circle. And we walked down and we saw that she was throwing stuff into her car and crying. And her boyfriend that was there was screaming and yelling at her. And um, she, as soon as she saw she ran toward us. And we were in, went around the corner and started to talk to her. And this was the day before Easter in 2013. <laughs> and... Um, we asked her to come to church the next day, and she came. And it was kind of funny because in the middle of sacrament meeting, she exclaimed congratulations to one of the converts who had gotten <laughs> the Aaronic priesthoods. And uh, she was she was very eccentric. But um, a few days later, later, we went to her house, and she told us that she had to go to the hospital. Um, she had been involved in domestic violence, and so she left, and uh, me and my companion, we gave her our home addresses um, so we could keep in contact with her and make sure that she was doing okay, and then we went on with our missions, and about two or three months before I left from my mission, before I came home, I got an email from my mom saying that I had a letter from Tina and she sent it to me and Tina had been on life support in the hospital for a while and she was recovering and she was just living in this little nursing home thing and she told me that she had been reading the Book of Mormon and that she wanted to meet with missionaries and so something that I learned from that and from a lot of other experiences is that no effort is ever wasted that when we go and we do what we're supposed to do and we follow the Spirit, that people's hearts will be touched. And it might not be at that moment, it might be later on in their lives that they realize that they need it in their lives. But your efforts are never wasted.